In a regression problem, as usual, we are given a training set X consisting of data points XT and their uh, numerical labels. And um, the labels are real values. And what we assume, as usual, is that these labels are coming from some unknown function that should be learned. Um, and there is always some additional noise that we have to take into account. And remember that when we did parametr parametric regression, we have assumed that we have a polynomial of a certain order, and we have uh, computed or learned its coefficients in such a way that we minimize the sum of, of squared errors on the training set. Uh, and, and sometimes we even had some regularization um, component where we are penalizing for uh, considering higher degrees in our polynomial. Now, we take the non-parametric regression when we have no basis on which to uh, assume the existence of such a, a polynomial. And the only reasonable thing that we can assume is that close x are going to have close uh, g of x uh, values. And in the, in the same way that we dealt with non-parametric density estimation, Given a, a, a point x, our approach is going to find the neighborhood of x and then evaluate the uh, label for x based on the values um, of those points in, in the neighborhood. Um, so the non-parametric regression estimator is, is also called a smoother. Um, and the uh, estimate is also called a smooth. And there are various methods for defining uh, the neighborhood and uh, uh, taking an approach on how to estimate the uh, value of your data point based on the values of those points in the neighborhoods. And I want to show you a few examples of, um, of how to do this. The first example I want to show is that one where you, so it's called the running mean smoother and in this case the idea is you have a new data point uh, x and you are going to uh, consider it in, in the following way you you have a range for your uh, uh, data points and so you have an origin and you are going to split this uh, range into bins of a certain width. Uh, so that's uh, the width you, is going to be uh, fixed uh, from, from the beginning. And you are going to check in which bin your data point is. And then you are going to average the R values uh, of all the data points um, in that bin. Um, similarly, as we have done in, in, a, in a histogram. Um, and so this is uh, just using the same uh, uh, terminology. Instead of a histogram, this is uh, called a regressogram, just to suggest that we are dealing with a uh, regression. And the way this goes is the um, estimator g hat of x is going to be simply um, the sum for all the data points um, of, I, I explain, I'm writing this uh, b function and, and I'm going to explain in just a moment what this is. So it's b of x and xt times the value rt divided by um, this uh, b of x and, and xt. And the idea of this b of uh, x and xt is simply going to be um, it's one if xt uh, is in the same bin with x. So, in other words, the uh, sum here is going to calculate how many data points you have in the same bin with x, and the sum over here is going to cal calculate the sum of their value. So, all in all, this is going to uh, calculate for you the average of the values of all the data points that sit in the same bin as uh, x. And I want to show you uh, an example of uh, how uh, this uh, looks like. 
Um, here is uh, one where we have defined uh, uh, h to be uh, 6 on the on the uh, top part of this figure and um, it, uh, it it looks uh, something like this and uh, it's not uh, surprising I think to see that there are some discontinuities and in fact you see even more discontinuities uh, as we go for smaller h's uh, uh, we have one here and one there and for h equals 1 we will see even more of these um, uh, discontinuities and I'm going to refer to them in just a moment. Um, for now, I would like to, to maybe comment on another point, another disadvantage, if you like, of this uh, uh, regressogram or uh, uh, the, the idea of uh, splitting your uh, uh, interval into, into bins. The point is that you have to have an idea about the interval of your data points, uh, and in particular, you, you have to know the um, margins of this uh, interval uh, so that you are able to split it into bins and um, sometimes you might not be able to do that simply because you don't have that knowledge or simply because your data points uh, are, are maybe distributed from uh, say minus infinity to plus infinity and i want to show you just a small alteration of uh, this idea where uh, we get rid of this difficulty and this is similar to uh, what we had also in the case of uh, density estimators and the idea similarly as we had in that case is rather than splitting into beans from the very beginning we are going to take um, uh, a neighborhood around your uh, point x a neighborhood of width uh, uh, h um, and otherwise the idea is exactly the same you you take uh, uh, the mean of the values of all the data points sitting in the same uh, in that neighborhood around x and so what this becomes is g of x is um, and you have uh, this uh, fraction i'm starting with w of u w of u is simply one if you have an argument that has a module less than than one and, and zero otherwise and in this sum you are applying it to to this uh, thing it's x minus x uh, t over h and so overall what this is going to be is going to select all the data points that are sitting um, uh, at a distance uh, at most h from x so this is going to be a neighborhood uh, uh, you know, h to the left of x and h to the right of x. So you select only those data points and you take the, their values and you are summing up and then you divide uh, to the number of these points. Uh, so the idea of getting um, this uh, running mean in a neighborhood um, uh, around uh, x. So that gets rid of the um, need of defining the beans uh, beforehand. You are now just having a bean uh, centered around your data point and uh, here is how this would look for an example um, uh, you you have here uh, the example of h equals uh, 6 and uh, here you have uh, the example of h equals uh, 3 and so on and obviously um, you still have uh, you know discontinuities and 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 that's something that um, we will address in 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 a moment it's uh, it's certainly a, a, a major disadvantage of this method just one more point i want to add um, when we are uh, discussing about this running mean um, and the point is that you see once you define uh, say for uh, this data point you define a neighborhood uh, around it um, it doesn't have to be that we just take the running mean. We, we could also make some other uh, choices. Um, so, for example, uh, we could uh, also think about um, fitting a linear model in, in that particular neighborhood based on the data points that fall in that neighborhood. Um, and uh, in that case, we have something like uh, the running line, and this is uh, uh, somehow demonstrated in this uh, in this figure but going to this idea that you have a discontinuous uh, uh, function when you are doing these things uh, one obvious way to get rid of this disadvantage is to uh, use um, a kernel smoother so the idea that all the data points contribute to each prediction and uh, they contribute in different ways those that are closer are going to contribute more those that are further away contribute more um, and so 
in this case you would have um, the only modification we have is we don't select just those sitting close to your points but you, we select all of them and the kernel function is going to indicate the weight that we give to these points um, so uh, we have uh, this idea we take the uh, uh, we, we sum up the values of all the data points but we weighted them um, with a weight corresponding to how far away from uh, from our point uh, uh, they are and and then we are dividing dividing to this so that we have uh, this idea of the running mean but combined with the kernel smoother and the kernel can be uh, you know your favorite kernel for example the uh, gaussian kernel or, or something else and in this case uh, indeed we are getting um, a uh, continuous uh, uh, regression uh, estimator and uh, for example we have in this uh, figure uh, the kernel smooth for uh, h equals 1 and 0 0.5 and 0 0.25 and obviously this is going to give, give now a uh, uh, continuous function.